Hi, this is Gabe Belanger from Computer Geeks on Call. What I would like to do now is cover getting into safe mode. Tap your F8 key when the computer is starting up. It's okay to tap it now. Aha, what happened? Well, F8 at this stage uh, in my BIOS is telling me to boot off a particular device. Brings up the boot menu. So I'm going to hit escape. And now I hit F8. Tap, 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 tap. And what happens? I get this menu. Advanced options for Windows 7. So, I can choose to repair my computer or safe mode. Safe mode with networking allows me to get on the internet and safe mode with command prompt. So, if we choose to go with safe mode with networking, you normally see this. This is all a normal procedure. It's bringing me into safe mode with networking. Now, why do we want to go into safe mode? Well, the reason why is because it's kind of like a way to turn off all the extra stuff that makes Windows do all these wild and wonderful things, as well as all the extra little programs that are loading. It also turns off a lot of devices on your computer. So instead of having your full video card driver, the software that makes the video card work, you're getting a scaled back simple version that just allows you to see video. So what this does is it turns off extra startup items from loading both Windows and third party like other companies uh, programs that load automatically startup programs and services and it also does not initialize or start up most of your devices in the normal way it just puts on basic software to get your video up in my case I chose safe, safe mode with networking so it gets my networking component set up and it allows me to use my hard drive and access files on the you know the DVD or the CD so if your computer will not boot I recommend you try safe mode with networking or just safe mode the other cool thing about safe mode is it comes up and it asks you if you want to do system restore now what is system restore well it allows you to kind of revert back to some old registry settings and files in Windows before a certain problem occurred so if you have viruses and spyware or any kind of problem with your computer uh, you can use System Restore to go back, say, a day or two before the problem occurred. So if a problem occurred a week ago, I would go back 10 days. Now, there are some programs that get messed up with, say, with System Restore. And those programs, the one that I'm aware of, is Simply Accounting. I did System Restore with Simply Accounting a long time ago, and it kind of brought Simply Accounting back to that date, just by the way the software was designed at the time. I'm not sure if that occurs on all versions of Simply Accounting, but that happened to me. So if you do have Simply Accounting, make a full backup of your data if possible before you try System Restore. Now, what we're actually doing here is loading into Safe Mode. And as I was saying, Safe Mode is an excellent tool you can use to uh, kind of stop all these extra programs from loading um, and get you into a mode where you can just access your computer. If your computer didn't start up and you wanted to back up your files, um, you could try safe mode with networking to do that. If you have viruses and spyware, you could try safe mode and net with networking to scan and remove viruses and spyware. Why? Because viruses and spyware load automatically often, or they hook into services and startup programs that are not always running in uh, safe mode with networking. If it's a really bad infection, the infection will be in safe mode with networking or safe mode. If it's a minor infection, it probably won't show up here. So then you have a chance to do a whole bunch of virus and spyware removal um, in safe mode with networking. So I'm going to uh, follow up on this in my next video once we get past this stage.